What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Nivanya, your drama-free drama coach, coming to you with our tip for the day, which is a follow-up to our identity tip. And I want to talk a little bit about identity crisis. An identity crisis is when someone does not know psychologically or characteristically who they are. How can this happen? In acting, it shows up when the actor has not carefully prepared, they've done their character work. You know, we in acting, we have a character analysis where you come up with the things that the character likes, where the character's from, what kind of trauma or turning points have they had in their lives, what kind of triumphs have they had. All of these things help to give the character depth and an anchor. And this is particularly um, critical when you're doing an ongoing series because you can lend to the writers and to the story what the character would do or how the character would respond based on this analysis and based on these past truths of the character that you have decided and identified right that creates to some degree the identity of the character so what happens to us in life when we essentially don't know who we are I know that Warren Buffett uh, has a quote and I'm not sure if he originated the quote but he subscribes to the quote for his own success and he says I know who I am I know what I believe and that's all I need to know so let's deal with that first piece I know who I am that is very much related to identity so what happens in an identity crisis you don't know who you are this can happen often when people identify themselves based on relationship to things outside of themselves. So if I said, who are you? And you said, well, I'm a wife or I'm a husband. God forbid you go through a divorce, then you become an ex-wife or an ex-husband. And that can often put people into a place of identity crisis because they just don't know who they are outside of the definition of being a spouse. Or the same thing can happen if you say, well, I'm a president of company XYZ, and company XYZ downsizes and you become just X president. You follow me? So these are the things in life that can lead to an identity crisis. So I want to offer you a tip today and I call it the identity ABCs and I sort of snatched and syndicated this from my girlfriend Tangi but it's a part of what I do when I have my seminars and we create I am statements which are basically like personal branding statements and um, strong commitments to your identity and maintaining who you are. So with the identity ABCs, you basically go down the alphabet and you say, I am and a word that is affirming, an affirming adjective that is true about yourself that starts with an A. So it could be, I am artistic. Then you go to B, I am brilliant. C. I am creative. D, I am disciplined. And by doing this identity ABCs, you create a definition and an identity for yourself that has absolutely nothing to do with anything happening outside of yourself. It is just true about who you say that you are. And that lends credence to that piece. I know who I am. I know what I believe, and that's all I need to know. So try your identity ABCs and see how that creates an anchor in your identity. This is Nivanya, your drama-free drama coach, saying I live my art, I love my art, 
I live my life, I love my life, and you can too.